We are the Astro Hawks from Cliff Valley School in Atlanta, Georgia. Today we're going to be presenting our experiment, the Rocket Lander Flame Experiment. Using an IR camera, our experiment records the temperature of the rocket-powered lander's fuel output. The visual light camera will capture the effect of the flame on the ground, specifically looking for debris caused by the flame on the simulated lunar surface. Lastly, we will use a vibration sensor to test the vibration of the rocket and a CO2 sensor to record how much CO2 output is in the atmosphere from the rocket flame. These sensors will be on throughout the duration of the flight. Since we want to learn about the effect of the rocket-powered lander's plume on the land and lunar surfaces, the hypothesis is as follows. If the forces and heat generated from the rocket-powered lander's engine plumes on takeoff and land landing are hot and powerful enough, then it will cause a hole in the lunar surface, creating pollution and the debris would be scattered everywhere. Our inspiration would be unanswered questions we have about outer space. When actual rockets land on the moon, can the impact of the plumes or flames make a hole in the lunar surface? Will this result in debris? We want to understand the impact of this debris. Will this create pollution? How will it impact the safety of astronauts? How will it impact navigation instruments? Our experiment will be done in four different steps. Our first step is to turn on all sensors and cameras. Our sensors include CO2 and vibration sensors, and our cameras include video, visual light, and thermal cameras. Um, our second step is that when our ex experiment takes off, all the sensors and cameras will turn on and immediately start capturing data from our test subject. This, the third step is the cameras and various sensors on our lander will collect data until the flight is, until the flight ends and the rocket powered lander lands. After that, as soon as we, as soon as the data is sent back to us, we will analyze it and draw conclusions from the data. So the this is important because the the debris from um, future landers could damage the ventilation and instruments on other landers. The erosion of the surface could make it unsafe for future missions like the Mars and Artemis missions, and also for the astronaut safety on the lander. Also, the flying debris and dust clouds can cause visual obstructions for which impact the safe navigation and chances of increased pollution from the rocket-powered lander. We will learn how infrared cameras and sensors work, how to program a microcontroller, and about video technology. This is also the first time our school has done real scientific research such as this. We want to take the results and the video footage to make a presentation and share in schools, public libraries, and bookshops around us to inspire others to participate in NASA next year. Our biggest lesson that we learned was how to work together in a team successfully and to not deny any ideas until the idea session is over. Thank you!